Okay, in this part of the example, we're going to look at measures of association for nominal and ordinal variables. And we're going to use data from the 2012 General Social Survey. So let's say that we wanted to look at the relationship between two nominal variables, sex and attitude towards abortion. So what we could do is we could first start with a cross-tab table. We're going to analyze descriptive statistics and then cross-tabs. And we want to put in our values uh, in the row and column boxes here. So let's make sex our independent or a column variable. We'll make attitude abortion, that is abortion, uh, attitude abortion for any reason, as our dependent or row variable. We click on statistics and we want to make sure there's a check mark next to lambda, our measure of association for nominal variables. And then we we'll click continue. And then we're going to click OK. And notice that SPSS makes results with including a crosstab table of the relationship between sex and attitude toward abortion. And then it gives us various uh, values for lambda. So remember, lambda is a asymmetrical measure, meaning that um, it gives us a different answer potentially if we reverse the independent and dependent variables. And so the value uh, at, the, at the sort of the middle of the panel is when attitude towards abortion is the dependent variable. And the one below that is the value that we would choose if sex is our dependent variable. And so uh, we want attitudes towards abortion attitude as our, as our independent variable. And so uh, that's this value right here. This is the one that we want. And so zooming in, you can see that's a value of zero. And that tells us that basically sex and abortion attitude are completely unrelated. And so that means that we have zero predictive power in predicting somebody's attitude towards abortion if we know something about their sex. So they're, they're completely unrelated to each other. Now, what if we wanted to do the same thing for two ordinal variables? And so if we go to uh, Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Cross Tabs, let's say that we wanted to look at the relationship between health and happiness. And let's say we make health our independent or column variable, and we make happiness our row variable. So if you click on statistics, the appropriate measure of association in this case would be gamma, which is the one for ordinal variables. Uh, we could use lambda if we had a mix of ordinal and nominal variables, or just nominal variables. But in this case, we have two ordinal variables, so we're going to use gamma. So we'll click Continue, and we'll click OK, and then we'll, we'll kind of scroll down to the bottom of, of this table and zoom in. And we see again that, that SPSS has created a frequency table, a bivariate frequency table, and here's the, the estimate for gamma. Uh, notice that it has a value of 0.398, which we can round to about 0.4. Uh, we see that it's a positive value, meaning that as health increases, so does happiness. And we see that it's, it's in absolute value, it's, it's sort of between 0 and 1. It's kind of close to 0.5. So this is kind of a moderate association. And we can see that, that uh, the, the value itself rounded to 0.4 tells us that if we have some information about health, we have about a 40% better chance of getting somebody's uh, value of happiness than if we didn't have information on health. So that's, that's a, a pretty decent predictor, even though it's a moderate relationship. OK, uh, what if we wanted to do the same analysis in PSPP? Well, we basically follow the same steps. So we, again, we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs. And we're going to pick our independent and dependent variables. So we'll make sex our independent variable, like we did before. We'll make abortion attitude our dependent variable or row variable. We're going to click on statistics. We're going to select lambda, click continue, hit OK. And when we go to our output window, and we zoom in, we find that we get the same values uh, in PSPP that we got in SPSS. Again, the, the, the relationship is zero. There's no relationship between these two variables. Now, how do we do the same analysis for um, the relationship between health and happiness? Again, we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs, and we're going to make health our independent variable or our column variable. We're going to make happiness our dependent or row variable. We're going to click on statistics and make sure that we select gamma. And we can uncheck the default chi-square. We click continue, OK. And then we're going to go to our output window. And we'll go all the way to the bottom. And we're going to zoom in. And we find that the gamma value is, is within rounding the identical value that we got from SPSF. We get a value of 0.40, indicating, again, there's a positive, moderate relationship 
having some information about somebody's health gives us about a 40% better chance of predicting their happiness than if we didn't have information on their health. And so in this case, we can see that, that both PSPP and SPSS uh, give us basically the same answers and, and are both equally adept at, at doing this kind of analysis. So we can really use either one.